Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Acacia Aurora Projector Nightlight. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So here it says Starry Light, Music Speaker, Remote Control. On the other side it says Create Wondrous Aurora and Play Music. So in this graphic they're showing it hanging from the middle of a tent. So this would be the Space Acacia tent, and I'll show this in that tent also in this video. So let's get this open. So here we have the light, we have a carabiner, we have a USB-A to USB Type-C cable. The cable's a little over 50 inches long. Here we have a remote control and a manual. So let's take a quick look at the manual. So this has the different parts. This talks about using it in the Space Acacia tent. So you can use the carabiner to hang it from the top of the tent. It says you want the big side of the carabiner facing down. Connect the tent's Type-C cable to the lamp and turn the switch to on. This can also be used on a table or desktop. So you face the light up and connect the Type-C cable. You can connect your device to it using Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth device is SKE-JBP-J01. This talks about product features. It says press host buttons or use remote control to switch the functions. In manual mode, the device automatically goes into standby after four hours. It has Bluetooth mode, timer mode, so you can set a custom standby time. Voice control, it says press mic buttons on the remote to activate voice function. The projection light will fast flash according to the external sounds or music rhythm. White noise mode, press the host button or use the remote control to play built-in white noise sounds. Here are the instructions for manual mode. So it has a next and previous button. You press those once to go to the next or previous track and you hold them down to increase or reduce the volume. As a play button, you press that to play or pause the music. Has a mode to switch between Bluetooth and white noise. Has the DC input, so that's USB Type C, and this takes 5 volts at 2 amps. The Aurora light brightness setting, power on off, mode switching, and handle strap. And here's the remote control. So you can see the buttons here, and this shows all the operations. So you can pause and read through that. And here are the specs. You can pause and read through those. So let's take a look at the light. So this has a sort of matte black plastic on the front and white plastic on the bottom or top depending on the orientation. We have rubber feet here, speaker in the bottom. Here we have a strap to hang it. So this strap can bend towards the back if you set it on a surface. And here we have the projector light. This is the star aperture and here are the buttons. So these have tactile feel to them. On the side we have on off switch. We have the volume adjustment and power. So this does not have battery in it. You'll need to connect it to an external battery or a USB charger. Let's check out the remote. So this takes AAA batteries. I'll place some AAA batteries in here. So let's get this plugged in. So I'm going to be powering this off the Green Pulse power station. So this was also provided to me by Acacia for a previous video. So I'll plug into the USB-A here and I'll plug into the lamp, power it up, and I'll turn this to on. Bluetooth mode. So the top of this is angled a little bit. So it turned on Bluetooth mode. So I'll go into my device, tap on Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Connections. Okay, so we're connected. I'll go into my music, and here we can play music. So I can use the remote here. So currently it's showing the Aurora and the Starry Night. I'm going to hit this little button on the upper part of the remote, and it will turn the laser off. Because where I'm standing, I don't want that laser to get into my eyes. If you're using this for the laser decoration, you want to have it pointed at a wall or something. So I can turn that music Audio up or down. Maximize. So that's all the way up on here. I can still turn it up more on my iPad. <laughs> So there's not a lot of range in this speaker, so this would be good for light music, ambient noise, podcasts, things like that. This isn't going to be able to play music with a lot of bass where you can feel it and such. So I can turn this on or off with the remote. Now it does still have that switch. Bluetooth mode. So if this switch is off, this is not going to control it. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth connection. Then we have built-in white noise, which are these green buttons. So we have ocean wave, white noise, summer night, we have thunder, we have brook, baby lullaby one, baby lullaby two, and Baby Lullaby 3. So then we have buttons for the lights. So we have R for red, G for green, B for blue, W for white. And I'll show these modes on a wall in a minute. Then we have LED. So that will turn the light on or off. The microphone here is vocal mode. 
So now when it hears noise or music, it will flash. So you can see that flash. So if I had music playing, you'll need it at a certain volume for this to pick it up. So if I tap it, it'll make some noise. So then we have Aurora brightness button. So that's here. So that will change the dimness of the light. We have Aurora speed up and down, which is S plus S minus. We have two different fade modes. BTWN changes between white noise and Bluetooth. And then we have the sleep timers for one hour, two hour and sleep timer off. So let me adjust this to point at the wall and we'll take a look at the different modes on here. Okay, so with the button in the upper right, I can turn the laser on or off. So you can see that has that starry night effect. We can turn the LED off. So this is just the stars. We can change the speed of the Aurora. So I'll speed that up now. So this is probably sped up all the way. I'll slow it down all the way. So now it's stopped. We have different fade modes, so I'll hit fade one. So this is fading between RGB. Now let's go to fade two. So I can adjust the individual colors here, like I can turn green on or off, red on or off, blue on or off, and here's just white. So I'm going to find a more open area to show this, and I'll also show it off in the Acacia tent. Okay, so here I'm inside of the Acacia tent, and I'm actually inside right now. It's well below zero outside, but it would look the same inside or outside. So down here I have the Green Pulse power station, and I have the USB cable, but that goes up to this pouch. I have it splitting off to their inflatable light, and then this goes along the top, down to the projector light. So that makes for a very clean cabling setup here. Then I can control it with the remote control. So I'll turn off the inflatable light. So now it's just the projector light. So you can see the projection here around the tent. So let's turn on the stars. So here you can see the stars. So it's going up about maybe four feet. And my camera's not actually picking that up very well. Let's get a little closer. The exposure on my camera's not picking it up. I'm actually going to take a picture. I think I could get a good picture of this. I think the picture actually makes it look brighter than it is in person, but it has a nice relaxing look to it. You can see the stars on the floor very well, but it can be real hard to film this kind of stuff. So let's turn on a little bit of white noise. And then we'll look at some of the colors. So here we have red, very cool looking. Let me turn the stars off. So I see this a lot more on the floor than I do on the walls. Let's try green. Okay, how about blue? Well, blue is very nice, it almost looks like water. And here's white. Of course we can turn them all on. So there you can see the stars on the wall a little bit better. And here's just the stars. So you can see this on the floor here, and I can also see that on the walls. But for some reason it's not showing up on camera very well. And that's just on my viewfinder. It might show up in the final video better. Let's play around with the speed. So there's fast speed. 
they're stopped and there's very slow speed So that has very nice integration into the Space Acacia tent system. Okay, so here I have the projector light on the corner of the dining room table, and you can see it's lighting up the ceiling and the walls with the aurora and the stars. So there we have some blue. There we have red, blue, white, and green. I really like the combination of the blue and green together. Here's a little bit closer view of that. So that was the Acacia Aurora Projector Light. So I was powering that with the Green Pulse Power Station, but you can also just plug this into a standard USB charger, phone charger, wall outlet, USB port, RV, or other USB port. Now the spec said five volts at two amps, but oftentimes if you're running the light lower and the laser down, it's drawing maybe an amp or even less than that. So if you do use a smaller charger and you're having trouble, switch to a larger charger. But a lot of chargers these days can output two amps. So I really like the versatility of this. It has the Aurora light and the stars, and you can do either or. It has a Bluetooth speaker in it or the built-in white noise, and it comes with that remote to control it or the buttons. I will probably mostly just use the remote, but you can use it either way. And then of course you can just put this in the corner, point it up at a wall and ceiling, or you can hang it from your tent like I did in my Space Acacia tent. So a light like this could be good in a nursery, a bar, a room you're entertaining, you could use it during a party, or you could use it to do exercise, yoga, things like that when you're relaxing. Maybe you're reading a book and you just want a little light in the background. If you want higher energy, you maybe turn up that speed on the Aurora. If you want to relax more, maybe turn that down. And of course you can adjust the light level too and the type of light you want. I found these can also be used for things like Halloween decorations. You can have this all red and it kind of looks like some flames or something. Maybe around Christmas time, you can do some red and green and give it kind of a Christmas look. So a light like this can be very versatile. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.